Hi everyone. Today we'll be talking about reconsidering PMAX in your marketing mix. Is it really driving the de desired results? Before getting into the nitty gritty though, let's take a step back to understand what PMAX is or Performance Max. It's a unique automated campaign type in, in Google Ads. It utilizes Google's machine learning capabilities to drive conversions across all of Google's owned inventory. PMAX ads can be served across search, display, YouTube, Discover, Gmail, and Maps. And of course, it comes with a lot of benefits. It uses machine learning models to drive more conversions by optimizing bids and placements in real time. It uses smart bidding to achieve these goals. Google's AI technology looks across many factors when optimizing PMAX campaigns, including audiences, creative, budget optimization, bidding strategy, attribution, and so much more. Apart from its optimization, Another benefit is the native integration across Google properties that allows for a holistic view of performance. It utilizes AI to present customers with the most relevant combination of ad creatives across devices and marketing channels, which is what we're all aiming to achieve. So what is it that you can expect? In order for PMAX to really work, you need to provide the best inputs for the machine learning and AI technologies to work. So you need to teach the platform what it is that you are trying to achieve and what that desired results are. So it's quite attractive and quite lucrative. So you've got your input and then the output would be various sets of ad, um, ad assets across multiple platforms. Very nice. But there are quite a few things that you need to look out for that we would like to share with you. So the first thing and very crucial is that you need solid conversion tracking and data points. It relies heavily on both bidding and targeting automation, similar to the predecessors like ad campaigns, smart display and local campaigns. Conversion tracking is always important in a Google Ads account, as you know, but it's even more so important in PMAX. Additional to conversion tracking, there are various data points that you need to enter, like the audience signals, bidding strategies, attribution, assets. Um, and all of those as mentioned previously. If you do not enter these signals and conversion tracking and data points, then Google Ads will guess what the triggers are for these signals. It will also guess what the best conversions or leads will be. It will stay in the learning phase and ultimately you will be wasting your money. PMAX campaigns loves a lot of impressions, but it doesn't care where it's shown. So please be careful of display spam. We recommend to look at the placements and the settings of where your ads are shown and just to make sure that it is showing on legitimate places. If not, just go through it in detail and select the ones that you would like to exclude. You can save a lot of money by this and also your brand reputation will stay safe. Another second uh, last tip that we would like you to look out for is to watch out for the URL parameters or the URL expansion. We know that PMAX campaigns are an amalgamation of many Google ad formats into one, so search, display, discovery, video, shopping, etc. So it's only fitting that PMAX borrows some of these features for other campaign idiosyncrasies. One of those idiosyncrasies that's easy to miss is URL expansion the PMAX version of dynamic search ads. So by default, PMAX campaigns have URL expansion turned on. This means that unless you turn it off, the campaign has permission to send users to landing pages other than your final URL. So be sure to make sure that those are ticked as excluded. And then last but not least, we all get the Google recommendations in the platform. And although some of these recommendations might be useful, please be mindful and just use your logic when applying these recommendations. What we have found in the past, that majority of these recommendations are around budget. So i.e. more money to Google and won't necessarily improve campaign performance. So just apply your logic when looking at these recommendations. You can never have a 10 out of 10. So in summary, some tips for a successful PMAX campaign. Feed the algorithm a lot of data points. Fine comb the placements to avoid display spam. Double or triple check all the settings. And then last but not least, don't always trust the platform recommendations.
And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video insightful. If you have any other tips to share on Pmax, please comment below. And then if you'd like to chat in more detail, feel free to reach out uh, on the website or the email um, as shown on the screen. Please like and subscribe our channel for more insightful videos.